Hi everybody. Okay, so I'm going to share with you um, the layout that I made for Christmas Eve. I decided to kind of make Christmas Eve and Christmas like the main focus um, on my December dailies. And and if you if you haven't been following along, I do six by six um, in a Project Life like layout, but I just do little six by six minis, and then there's four to a page, and it's double sided. So. Um, for Christmas Eve and Christmas, I decided to change it up a bit and do 12 by 12. Um, there's a few days that are going to have multiple photos, and so there's going to be multiple layouts for certain days that I took more photos, and that's okay. Um, but I wanted to make sure that Christmas Eve and Christmas were the main focus. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to give you an aerial view of this layout. But before I start, I kind of want to share real quick. Um, what is going on in it. Um, all of the papers and everything on this layout did come from my Scraptastic kit, Home for the Holidays, um, except for the doilies and the wood veneers and the um, twine. That did come from my Scraptastic kit, but it came from my Life Noted. Um, the title, the thickers and these little... Um, I don't know, like the the little lettering, that all came from my just my stash, and I I needed to keep the title really small, and I wanted to emphasize that this is Christmas Eve, so I just titled it Christmas Eve Tradition. Our Christmas Eve tradition is to go to Grandma's house and have breakfast over there, um, because I typically work on Christmas night. Um, not always; it depends on if it falls on my work night. We are open. Um, 24 7 365 so um, if if it falls on my day I'm there um, anyways so I I got some pictures of the kids when they were around the tree and um, this one just kind of went all together everybody has a gift in their hand and then the picture of grandma up here she is opening the gift that we gave her so I thought that all these pictures went together really well um, I used a sketch from Creative Sketchers, a blog. Um, if anybody would like the link to that, um, if you're really in, into looking for like new sketches and things, just leave me a message and I will, or you can just go check it out. I mean, you should be able to find it. It's just Creative Sketches. It, it shouldn't be that hard to find. Um, I found it on the internet just by plugging it in. So, okay, I guess I'll start. On the sketch, sorry about the lighting there, let me see if I can, there we go. On the sketch it called for these five pictures here. But up in this corner it just kind of showed a little square tucked back behind these two strips of paper. And there was only two strips of paper but I put three. Just because I, I thought it looked nice with the, the little thin strip in between. And so instead of putting it back behind, what I did was I just put a photo on there. And I made sure that um, Grandma was kind of the main focus up here. So that's why she's up there. And I just cut my doilies. And it was just one doily. And I cut it and stuck it back behind here. And you know how hard that was? It was so hard for me to cut these doilies. I did not want to um, ruin it at all. i got to be careful because I did staple my little twine. I love this twine. It is, um, it's like got a gold fleck. Let me see if I can. Here's what I... Isn't that so pretty? Um, so that's what I used. And I did I stapled it, but because my tiny attacher won't fit in that far, I just um, glued it with glossy accents after I stapled it. So it's kind of hopefully reinforced well enough. My wood veneers here I colored with um, my Copics, my R46, and then I used my W3 to kind of go over it just to make it darker so that it would match this red over here. Um, keep in mind that when you color a wood veneer with a Copic, it is going to run a little bit. Some of the color comes down into the green, and, and you know I'm perfectly okay with that. So, um, what you want to do when you're coloring it is either use the chisel tip if if you have a larger area to color, and if you have a smaller area and you do need to use the tip, just kind of pounce it. Don't don't actually mm -hmm. color. You just kind of dab it because you don't want to ruin your tip. And with wood grain, it's kind of got a little bit um, of a harsh texture. Not not bad, but um, probably too much for a Copic tip. So, um, although I don't follow that so much. I mean, I I try to pounce, but sometimes I end up looks like I'm coloring anyway. Okay, so um, my little clusters are actually very very simple. 
This is a matting right here that came in my Scraptastic kit. I just cut, it was a punch out, and I just added um, three little, it's hard to see one because it kind of got covered up, three little banners here. And on this one I stapled down the twine, and then I just stuck a doily back here. So that was really actually simple. Down here, I just stuck one of the um, vellum pieces, just because I think it kind of needed something back here, and I put Believe in the Magic of Christmas, just because I really liked the way that it looked with this um, layout, and you know, there it's Christmas Eve, so why not? Um, down here I did put some more doily, and um, another wood veneer, and some twine. So it's actually really, really simple. Here, I didn't think that, I tried the wood veneer up here in this corner, and it didn't look right. It just looked, it looked too random. So I decided to stick these two down here together, and what I did was I glossy accented these two together, so they're kind of overlapping. And on this one, where there's nothing underneath, I stuck some pop dots, and then I just glued, glued this one down, and this one's pop dotted. So actually very, very easy, and I'll be sharing my Christmas layout because it's already done and ready. So I hope you all enjoy. Bye.